Many people today are stuck in the concept of left-wing versus right-wing when it comes to politics and the subject of multiculturalism or immigration into all and only white countries. Many people see policies regarding multiculturalism as being implemented by leftists in our countries while relying on the political right to be the ones who stand up for their country, culture, and themselves. In other words, the theory is that people on the left want to open the borders to all white countries and let in millions upon millions of non-whites into those countries, which will in turn make our people, the Europeans, a minority in our own countries. Whites will be a minority. For the first time in American history, non-whites will make up half or more the next generation, according to a new study by the Pew Research Center. The theory goes on to state that people on the political right want to close the borders and have a tendency to care more for the indigenous Europeans. Basically, people view leftists as anti-white and right-wingers as pro-white. Now, is this theory true in the real world? Let's just observe reality for a moment. Let's take a look at the political history of the United States. The Republican Party has ruled Congress many times in history. Let's look back 60 years and see how the political climate looked when America started to open up its borders. From 1953 to 1961, the political right with Dwight D. Eisenhower was in charge. Again in 1969 to 1974 with Nixon, and it continued with Gerald Ford in 1974 to 1977. Ronald Reagan came to power in 1981, and the Republicans had power until 1993. In almost all of the 80s, the right-wing parties in America ruled. And the last time was with George W. Bush in 2000 to 2008. Now ask yourself this question. Why haven't these right-winger conservatives preserved American culture when they have had the chance? If you look at history, you'll see that they have had many chances to save us. But if nothing is done immediately, white Americans will be a minority in this country if we aren't already. Now you might argue, okay, but that's only in America. In Sweden, for example, the right-wing parties took almost one million non-whites into Sweden during their eight years of rule. You might argue, yes, but that is because the political right in Sweden has become more left, so they weren't really a right-wing party to begin with. That's all rationalization to hold on to your belief system. Now let's continue that thought of yours. In 1991, the right-wing parties had a bourgeois coalition government in Sweden and ruled over Sweden for three years. Even back in the earlier 80s, the right-wing party in Sweden had power. Why is it that Sweden will soon be a majority non-white country? When you realize that these right-wingers aren't that interested to either conserve or preserve any Western culture, or ever have been whatsoever in any time in history, you can also accept the truth that they are as anti-white as the political left. If they weren't, they would have halted immigration a long time ago. Yes, it's true that many right-wing parties all across the Western world have a tendency to be more restrictive on immigration, but that is not because they are pro-white or care about you. Often it has to do with the interests of money. Is that a pro-white position? No, it isn't. The interest of money will not save our people. We are not in a political battle between right-wingers and leftists. This is about those of us who want our people to continue to live on into the future, and those who don't and even those who are intentionally working to make the Western world non-white. It's not leftists who are the only anti-whites. Both right-wingers and leftists are anti-white in their political form and way of thinking. They both lead to a blended humanity only in white countries, while Africa and Asia will still remain Africa and Asia. You are either pro-white or anti-white. You aren't anything in between in the middle of a genocide. This video hopes to break through old thinking patterns and expand your consciousness so that you might make better and more conscious decisions regarding these issues in the future.